In a very significant development, the DRDO has sought around $100 million from the Defense Ministry to develop a high-power laser system under the directionally unrestricted ray gun array project, that will see the development of a 100kW lightweight directed energy system for the Indian Army, and will also be modified to be equipped on naval warships, followed by a tactical airborne laser-based system for next-generation fighter jets. DRDO's Laser Science and Technology Center is the lead laboratory in developing the system, and the center has so far developed a 25kW laser system that can target an incoming ballistic missile during its terminal phase at a maximum distance of 5 km. The infrastructure required for manufacturing 125mm fin-stabilized armor-piercing discarding Sabot ammunition with Russian collaboration at the High Energy Projectile Factory will be ready next month, as 90% of the civil works have been completed for the project. The factory has taken up indigenization of the raw materials and components required for the 125mm ammunition, and will start production from December 2021. The factory will soon supply 300 RGB-60 ammunition and 60 anti-submarine ammunition to the Indian Navy, along with the first export order of 57 RGB-60 ammunition to Myanmar shortly. Hindustan Aeronautics has floated a fresh tender for minor modification work on the Dornier 228 aircraft, for integrating an indigenously developed airborne maritime patrol radar and will replace the existing Israeli ELM-2022 radar, thus converting it into a formidable and versatile multi-mission maritime patrol aircraft. The indigenous airborne maritime patrol radar will have 512 transmit-receive modules, and is based on the indigenous AESA radar technology that have been developed for fighter jets. INS Vikrant is all set to start sea trials very soon, which will pave the way for its commissioning by the end of this year. INS Vikrant will initially be equipped with the existing MiG-29K fighters, that will be replaced by 4.5++ generation twin-engine deck-based fighter, that will incorporate several fifth-generation technologies, and will have 11 hardpoints for carrying wide range of systems like the Astra Mark II air-to-air -air missile. Rudram 1 and Rudram 2 anti-radiation missiles, as well as an airborne variant of the 1000 km range indigenous long-range cruise missile. The Chief of Defense Staff has said, that the ban on import of extreme cold weather clothing can be done, if the Indian textile industry is able to innovate and manufacture them indigenously. He also added, that the armed forces are also considering clothing with special marking or technology, that can help to identify friends from foe, as well as stealth technology-based clothing for special forces. An American senator has urged U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin to take up the issue of sale of the S-400 air defense system during his visit to New Delhi tomorrow, and also said, that if India chooses to go forward with the purchase, it will clearly be considered a sanctionable transaction with the Russian defense sector under provisions of the CATSA, and will also limit India's ability to work with the US on development and procurement of sensitive military technology. While answering questions in Parliament, the Ministry of Defence has blamed the French firm Naval Group for long delays in constructing six Scorpion submarines for the Indian Navy under Project 75 with Mazagin Dock Limited, and also stated that the delays have been caused due to various defects observed during the trials of the submarines, which had to be fixed with certain modifications. Another reason of slow progress is due to the delay in supplying the items required for construction by the technology provider Naval Group. The Indian Navy has commissioned the L-58 landing craft vessel today, which is the eighth and last in the series of landing craft utility ships built by Garden Reach shipbuilders. The shipyard had delivered the vessel in December 2020, and has now started production of the first corvette under the 8 anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft project. Omar oh,
Attention. 